Hey guys, so I know that I promised like a few months ago when we moved that when we got into our new house and we got settled that I would go through and show you my new kind of setup, um, how I was going to store and organize my perfume when I got here and it's been a couple months, we're settled now, so I thought it would be a good time to go through and kind of show you um, my new, I guess, setup and my new... Uh, Hi. Say hey. <laughs> and uh, how I'm storing everything's sorry, and how everything is being stored now. Um, it's still kind of a mess, but there is a method to my madness at least now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. You can see behind me. Okay. So that's as far as it'll go out. So this is um, a big, huge shelving unit that actually came with the house. So I've got, this is like my main, um, there we go. This is like my main storage here, I would say for the time being. You can go out. Mm -hmm. You gotta use your toothpick safe for your teeth. Okay, baby. Okay, and then, so on the top here, um, and I'm just gonna quickly go through these so that, you know, cause I know I just did a huge collection video. So you'll see I've got everything kind of grouped together now. So I've got like all my Stellas here. Um, behind the Stellas, I've got like all my Lolita Lumpicas all together. Um, Sometimes you'll just see like a one-off because I only have one of it, like the Atelier Dior's. Um, and behind that, I've got like all my aliens, or sorry, all my Mugler's. Uh, and then back there, I've got some Nirvana, uh, Elizabeth and James. Here are all of my duas. Those are like three rows deep at this point. I've got a lot. Um, all my Burberries back there you can kind of see, and then these are all my lawn bins. Uh, and then back there you can see my Libre Intense. Those are all YSLs back in there. Uh, my one little Valentino, because it's the only one I've got. And then uh, a couple Sarah Jessica Parkers. I've got all my Jean-Paul Gaultiers back there. And then some one-offs. These are just some one-off niches. And then if we come down to the second row, we've got some Lancome here and Versace back there and some one-offs here, some Atoka and then this one um, are just one-offs. And then I've got a bunch of the Reeve. And then you can see I've got some Juicy Couture back here. Um, this is just kind of a one-off. And then all of my Guerlains. I own more Guerlains than I do any other house. So I've got all my insolences here and then um, my kind of one-off Guerlains and then all of my Shalimars and then all of my Aqua Allegorias back there, my Terracotta. So yeah, tons of that. And then moving over here, we've got Sylvain Delacour. We've got my my lovely zoologist B. These are like my favorites right here. I reach for these all the time, so I keep them close. And then back here, we've got some Kat Von D, um, Ely Saab, as well as some JLo right there. Coming down to the third row, we have got my Fresh, all of my Coras right there, um, some Victor and Rolf back there, a Body Shop, um, just kind of some one-offs and then you can see I've got all my Britney Spears back there. I've got my Melegs right here in front and then my one replica and then my Trusardi and then all of my Dolce and & Gabbana's and then got some Givenchy right here and then back behind that is Dior which Dior is coming close to being as big as Guerlain and I've got a ton of Dior so and then I've got my one little house of Oud and Judith, uh, sorry, Judith Lieber Knight, and then my Amaroods, and then all of my um, Nina Ricci's right there. 
And then coming down to the bottom row here, we have got some Gwen Stefani, um, just kept some kind of one-offs. These are two amber fragrances that I just kind of keep together. Uh, we've got a vintage back there, which really should be on another shelf because um, I've got my vintages all together. And then I've just got some like Swiss Arabian back here, um, an Avon and some things. Hold on. And then right here, I've just got a bunch of my Zara um, Jill Loves, so all my Jill Milan from Zara there. Okay, and then moving over here, we just, most of this shelf is like one-offs because I don't, they're just all like standalones. Okay, so we've got my Police Forbidden. Um, we've got, it's, this actually, so those are two DKNYs. I've got more DKNYs, so I'll have to get those all together. I've got my Rockba back there. Um, my one Aaron, Casimir, Pascal Morabito, um, Alexander McQueen, my Ghost, my Martine Mikolaf, my Orchid Avene. Um, these are all just, like I say, kind of one-offs. My uh, Aqua Dos Acoras, which are so stunning. And then, yeah, some of the newer ones I've picked up. And then Elizabeth Arden back there and my decadence. So, oh, my Marc Jacobs too. So I've got like four Marc Jacobs right there in the middle. So that is those shelves right there. I'll kind of come, see if I can come back without killing myself. You can see those. Okay, and then if we turn around to this area, we have got this shelf. Now I don't have any lighting on the shelf, but the light in this room, I will show you up here. The lighting you is so bright. So, um, okay. So I've got like a lint roller and some stuff back in that corner. That's a pit, a big Penhaligon's box that's got Penhaligon's minis in it. But this top shelf is basically where I keep all my lotions. Um, it's also got, I've got some perfumes pulled out um, like if I want to wear them, those are typically over here. There's stuff that I'll like pull out of my collection. Like I want to wear my, um, I want to wear my sexy amber. I haven't worn that that yet this season. So I want to get a good wear of that in. Um, some new things that I just picked up, my pansy, this boss, I haven't even given this a good wear test yet. Um, okay. I want to wear this Atelier Cologne. Uh, vanilla, Vanille Ensemble. It's such a gorgeous fragrance. I haven't worn that yet this year either. I just keep this vanilla out because I use it so, so much to layer with. So it just stays out. I mean, you can see, look at this huge dent. And that was full all the way up into the neck. Like it was really full. I used the heck out of this. Somebody told me this has been discontinued, which like kills my heart because it's such a stunning vanilla. But anyways, so yeah, those are all fragrant. Like I haven't worn my Samsara yet this year. So I pulled that out. So anyways, yeah, there's that. And then I've got my decants from Simona that I keep out on hand because I love them. This is a card here that Alex over Among the Stars perfume here on YouTube sent over with those bottles he sent. And then, like I say, this this row is, or this shelf is the only one that's like just a huge mess. I've just got lotions everywhere. I've got fragrances that I want to wear, but this is like my lotion shelf. And then I keep, if I've got lotions that go with fragrance, I usually will keep the fragrance. Um, near the lotion just like this way just so that I remember if I go to use the lotion to use the fragrance too so anyways that's just a big kind of mess and then this is gonna be hard to get in here because I've got my skincare cart like right across the way and it's jammed so I can't like really get in here but you can see kind of in that back corner I've got my Justin Bieber um, perfumes <laughs> my Katy Perry's uh, on the far right, you can see those are all ganache all the way to the back. Um, and then I've also, I've got a bunch of one-offs in there as well. I've got some Taylor Swift in there, some Nazamato, uh, Tokyo Milk, some Lush. Uh, and then if you come over here, 
So you guys might recognize this little shelving unit. This used to be my backdrop in my old, old house. So on this second shelf, you can see, um, I've got a lot, I've just got a bunch of stuff. I've got some Tom Fords back there. Like I've tried to keep, if I've got multiples of a certain house, I try to keep them together. Stuff that I reach for a lot, like my Orlov, I reach for that a lot. I try to keep in the front, my like this, that's one of my faves. I try to keep that in front. Um, I've got some Moscatas here. And plus I've got my all of my Etat Libra d'Orange all right there. Um, and yeah. I've got some, this, a lot of my celebrity fragrances are in this cubby as well. And then if you come over here, I've got my one Amouage. I've got my one Lardisan. I've got a couple of um, Carner Barcelonas. I've got all my Chloe's. Um, all, this should go over. I'm going to move that. That should be over with my um, Victor and Rolf. But I've got all my Pacifica. I've got a lot of one-offs, but I try to keep things together. Like I've got all my commodities here. I've got all of my dossier here. So, and then <clears throat> if we go down, sorry, I don't mind my trash can right here. If we go down, we've got a one-off little Montel, a Mariah Carey, all my Chanel's right here. Um, I keep that Shiseido Zen with my Chanel's because it gives me Chanel vibes. Oops, sorry. I've got some Calvin Klein in here and then all my vintages you can see in the back. Those are all my vintages and stuff that I just keep for like nostalgic reasons. And then, and coming over to the second cubby down. So these here are like minis that I don't want to keep with my minis. Um, I don't know why, because they're these are spray minis and I will actually use those because they're spray minis. So these are all like mini miniature size stuff that I just like to keep out because I will actually use it. Um, this I won't use, but I'll keep it out because it's so special to me. Um, so yeah, I've got my Juliet has a gun. I've got some extra space in this one as well. So. I've got my Sofia Vergara's, um, different things like that. Coming over to that cubby, which you won't be able to see all the way inside there, but I've got uh, most of my Zara's besides the Joe Love stuff. And then to the far, uh -oh. to the far right there, you can see um, these are all my layered fragrances. So those go all the way to the back, all layered all Zara, and then I've got a couple one-offs in there. I've got my Molinard in the way back. I've got a, um, I've got an Agent Provocateur in there. And then if we back way up here and go down to the bottom, this is all my samples. So this is all where all the mess is. This is my bag of like samples, carded samples, things like that. I've also got some Fragrenza in there. Um, that middle shelf, that is all of my like, um, those are all my decants or those are all atomizers, roller balls, things like that. I've got some minis in there. Um, I've got a bunch of discovery sets in there, which um, I was going to show you guys. My friend Jennifer from Perfume Collection and Reviews. Uh, which you guys will know here on YouTube. She sent these House of Siage um, discovery kits over to me and I had planned on doing a video about these because I found some I found some good dupes for a lot of these. There are some that um, there are some that I really like but yeah I just I didn't know if you guys would want to see a whole video on these if so. Let me know. I'd be happy to do a whole video on these and I can give you guys, um, you know, my thoughts and we can talk all about the House of Siage. So um, this here is decants basically that I have taken of my own stuff before I've sold it. If it's stuff that I just want to keep for reference. And then if you go way over here, you can see I've got a big box of minis, um, some more discovery sets. I've got some... Um, 
I've got some atomizers back there for when I do decants, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. If there's anything in here that you guys want full videos on, definitely just let me know. I'd be happy to do that. But yeah, so that's my other shelf. Um, still not the most organized thing in the world, but it is better than it was. I at least have some idea of where things are. Uh, so this is just my desk area. This is where I edit and yeah. Okay, so on my desk, I've always got perfume on my desk. Um, this is a big bag of samples that uh, I just did a sample swap with somebody. So she sent me all of this lovely, lovely stuff. Um, I'm super excited to play with a lot of it and to test some of this stuff out. If there's anything you guys want to see in there, you know, if you liked me to go through stuff like this, like make a video going through everything that's in stuff like this, I'd be happy to. Just let me know. Um, and then this is, I keep this Oscar lavender out all the time because I wear it to bed every single night. Like you guys, look at this dent I've already put in this. I literally wear this Where's every single day. Where's the dent? See, this came full all the way to the top and it's way down there now. That's a big old dent in that. Um, these are samples that I'm sampling, currently sampling at the moment. Don't mind my dust, dusty, musty desk. It needs to be cleaned badly. <laughs> um, I've got this Frederick Mal set sitting here because I'm going to do a whole video on that. Um, this little dossier box, this is another, uh, this is another set of decants I'm sending out to the same lady that sent me those samples right there. I'm sending this stuff out, so, um, yeah. I've always got notebooks because I'm always researching for one of my channels. I've always got notebooks to write in. This stuff all over my printer <laughs> is all stuff that needs to be listed on Mercari, so that's why that's all sitting there. I usually try to get up a good bit before I list because I have to, like, bulk list. I have to sit there and do it for a while. Um, this is my backdrop. You guys will recognize those plants. And <laughs> I've got my little Elizabeth, which I love. My little piggy, that my little piggy unicorn that Charlotte made when she was like <laughs> three. Okay, um, my owl mug. My older brother got that for me. I think it's beautiful. It's like this copper owl mug that's so pretty. And then these Christmas plants that I still have. I'm gonna plant these outside. I'm gonna put them in Wait, big pots. Wait, we need to tell the the YouTube what I what I put what I put inside here. Slime. Yeah, I put like really bright green slime in here to prank my mom, <laughs> <laughs> and she got mad. <laughs> was, like, green. I did. It's like a... But yeah, these are really beautiful. They're called Leland pines. They came from Florida, and Florida. I I'm love gonna, Florida. Me too. I'm gonna plant these in big pots in the spring and put them out on my front porch so um and yeah this stuff. i love this piece of furniture i got this when we moved in here and oh it's like this beautiful mid-century modern like buffet um yeah there's a picture of me and boo that <laughs> i'm gonna have my husband hang back here and this is what you never get to see because my head is always blocking it but that's my little Washington State home. I got that in Brevard, North Carolina. There's a little artsy shop up there that somebody makes them. They have all states. More plants and then my little llama that is all hidden by my plant. Yep. And then my tarantula that my mom got me. I have one too. Yeah. I can show you. So I love this little tarantula. That was so thoughtful that she Got that for me, so. Should I throw, should I uh, show the camera my tarantula that I got? Yeah. It's fluffy. Mm -hmm. it's and then down here, we are starting more um, storage, perfume storage. So this eventually I'm going to do like I do with my clothes and during the different seasons, like I'll switch out my perfume. So when it's summer, I'll put all my winter stuff in here. When it's winter, I'll put all my summer stuff in here and change things out. And there's Charlotte's tarantula. Yep. She got a stuffed one. <laughs> so cute. So these are TJ Maxx finds. These are Solonotes. 
uh, my Kenzo. These are all my Hermes that I've collected so far. I plan on getting like so many more. I'm obsessed. But these are basically like summer fragrances that I'm keeping in here. So anyways, yeah. And then on this side, I've got just some more like... Okay. Yeah, these are more perfumes that are just overflow. I've got a Divine Venise, some Rose, Amber, so just my La Mia Perla. So yeah, that's all I've got in that so far. Um, but you know, eventually that will be all full. Okay, that's good, baby. Eventually that whole cabinet is going to be full. You just watch. And then right over here we've got filming area. So this it wasn't really meant to turn into a full <laughs> room tour, but I may as well. So yeah, on this side, this is where... So I do my makeup on this side, and then I keep all my stuff there that I film on my other channel with when I do my Get Ready With Me's um, and such. So I, I will film... I'll pull from that side when I'm doing that, and then this is my perfume side that I film. Um... So yeah, you guys will have just seen that. That was all my stuff that I hauled this week. But <laughs> just gonna show you makeup. So anyways, yeah, that's my filming space with oh, way outdated lighting. I need to, I really, really need to like, yeah get better about lighting. So anyways, guys, that is basically my new setup and you know, kind of my um, perfume. What you mm -hmm. doing? Now they can see both of us. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> so anyways, guys, that's my perfume storage, mm -hmm. my updated perfume storage, what my new kind of can setup we, looks like. I've got a lot more room here, which has been another? nice. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you saw anything that you want full videos on, definitely let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.